in terms of online and retail? Is there much of a differentiation? Do you find it a lot more, I guess, um, easily done online or is it kind of easily done offline? What are the different challenges that you're finding with with both of them or you found? Look, probably online is harder in a sense because you're a little bit um, more reliant on the technology, mm. very much more reliant on technology, where retail you, you can get physical people into, in, into a, a place or you can – you can sort of drive them to a website and then they'll they'll see a physical product that you have there rather than the online, which where we use platforms like Amazon to you know, ship out. So there's some very differences in, in that respect. Well, it was back then. And, you know, probably now it's a little bit different because you look at a lot of the, the big retailers now, they're all going online. So it's probably changed now. But from back when we were, the internet was still around, but the platforms weren't, and the technology wasn't quite the same as what we've got today. So there was a little bit of difference there. One of the big things, a big difference with e-commerce, obviously, is the fact you, you generally don't have staff, in a sense. We had, we were a very seasonal business, retail business. We had staff anywhere from five up to about 30, 35 people at one time. And I would find that, as um, as as an owner, I suppose CEO, managing director, you spend a lot of time managing staff, huge amount of time. Human resources is one of you, you know most CEOs these days say they're just a client manager and a human resources manager. That's all you do. So e-commerce, it's it's a bit different because you're either getting third party people come in, you have a contract in place, you, you just engage them to do some work, uh, and they, they they might not do the good job, but you've got you're not managing them, trying to manage them all the time, make sure they're there. So uh, it's a, that, that was probably the biggest difference. And we said we just didn't want to do that again, didn't want to go back into that sort of retail type of things. Mm-hmm. And that's what attracted us sort of to the e-commerce. And, the, um, and also the costs. I remember a while ago, I actually had a, um, a client of mine that I was speaking to it was a few years back, and she actually had a retail store in Westfield in Queensland yeah. somewhere. And her rent, her lease was about seventeen thousand a month, and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I nearly kind of fell off my chair. I was like, "Holy moly!" And she was actually doing exactly seventeen thousand, around about sixteen to seventeen thousand every single month, and literally just spending all of that on her lease. And so she wanted to get a lot of her products online, and I think that's probably also, as you mentioned, kind of staff, but also just in terms of leasing, could be quite expensive when you're, I guess, going into retail. Is that something you found also? Look, it is, and another business I looked at at one stage, got very close to actually, um, was a coffee shop, one of the franchise coffee shops. And we actually signed the deal pretty much, but when push came to the shove, they had a plan of where they wanted us to locate the coffee shop, and it was in one of the big shopping centres. And exactly that, when I when I saw what the rent was, I went, oh, you're going to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, that's... That's going to put a big dent into the into the profitability of the business, and we toed and froed. And I, I did some research, found um, found some other shopping centres that I thought were a bit more appropriate, a bit more better priced, and they just weren't flexible enough. I said, "No, we're, we're the franchise all. We, we, we you do it our way or no way." I said, "Fine, forget it. <laughs> Give me my money, the deposit back, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll walk away." And probably a good job we did because it is, you know. As we know now, rents, retail rents were climbing quite steeply. Um, I think they might have come off a little bit, but it's a lot of money to commit to, and, to, and to be able to actually, it's a, it's a lot of business depending on what you're selling, but it's a lot of business to um, drive back a lot of sales that you need to get back just to cover your rent. The other problem you've got is you have a lease, but it's only a certain period of time. Mm-hmm. And I know when we sold our business, our retail business, uh, about three years later, the, the, it was in a prime position. If anyone knows Melbourne, it's in Chadston. It was in a real prime position. And, you know, we had a reasonable rent, but three years later after we'd sold the business, the landlord decided to knock down the four factories he had there and, and got, build a big retail complex, uh, sorry, a big um, residential complex. So they they just had to move. In six months, out you go. So 
you can, it, it's a bit like us, I suppose, with, um, and we're talking about you know, Facebook and things like that, where um, I know Graham said, yeah, he's got quite a big database of Facebook uh, people on he's collected. And, you know, if that was on Facebook, you, you know, like you've said, if you, your Facebook page gets hacked, you suddenly just lose, you can lose that. But in retail, you can get that back and you can fight, you can start to build that back. But in retail, if you've got to move and you can't get back in that same area, suddenly your brand's just finished. It's really, really hard. So, uh, and plus the cost of moving mm-hmm. is quite expensive. So that's where e-commerce, I think, really has it um, over a long sh- over a sort of a physical retail business. And that's exactly why I think, you know, companies like Myers, Kmart, Target, and now suddenly the pennies dropped and they're saying, well, you know, we can save a lot of money by going going online, which is good for us, I think, because like Walmart in the States where, you know, they go online, they, they're going to realise that having third-party sellers is a big bonus mm. and we'll be able to tap into that market yeah, and it's it's quite amazing. Actually, a lot of those big companies kind of got online, I felt, really late. They were kind of very, yeah. very late to kind of get into the party. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are a community of 2,500 members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers uh, right here in Australia. Uh, with sales, by the way, of over 50 million dollars 50 million dollars holy crap if you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own e-commerce business too get off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au the link for that is in the description and thanks so much for watching see you in the next video